Well, looks like it's recording. So we've got uh, Git Credentials Binding Project, July 28th, 7.30 a.m. India Standard Time. So the uh, hardship we were talking about um, <clears throat> before he joined, we were just kind of kicking off with this topic of the private key support and things that we should check. Uh, you had mentioned something in the Gitter about an RSA, a uh, RSA encrypted keys that you're having problems with with the library you're using. Can you do you want to kick off the discussion on with some detail there? Yeah. So, so I think that the SSD library is not supporting the RSA encrypted key, which is in open SSH format. I mean, any other key such as e, 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 CBSA 19, which is encrypted and even in open SSH format is, is you know, performing the task very well, but the RSA encrypted key is not. I think that the issue is from the SSJ library rather than in the binding code. Okay, but have, uh, have you tried debugging and? Uh, oh, yeah, um, yeah, I tried to debug. Well, I have not gone through the code of the SSJ library that much. So. Oh, no, that's okay. Because I can see from their, um, from their readme, they're saying in the supported directories, I can see RSA. In fact, the, the signature SSA. Dash RSA, I guess. So, Rishab, could you could you provide a, a link that we could drop into the document on the? Because it may be that we're just talking to different types. Also, uh, I just discovered more that uh, PKCS8 encrypted uh, encoding is not supported. That uh, not supported in the Bouncy Castle plugin API. Like it's showing an error when I was performing tests. So I think I need to either open an issue or make a PR regarding that. Uh, we we you, we do have a PKC set format private keys uh, open SSH. Uh, any any it can be in PEM it can be in open SSH. But I've I've never seen open SSH mention any support for PK for PKC eight keys. Uh, I would assume that if open SSH doesn't support it, we don't need to. Yeah, and I, I, I thought that um, the PKCS8 format is used for <clears throat> certificates, right? I mean, storing certificate changes, sort of a format which is used to store intermediate and um, client root certificates. That's what I thought. So Harshad, I think what you're hearing is that we're not worried about uh, PKCS8 format as far as I can tell, because um, not a concern because OpenSSH doesn't support it. And so a PKCS8 format, unless you've, unless you've found some way to use PKCS8 to, to to communicate with OpenSSH, I've never I've never seen it mentioned in any documentation. Well, I will look into that more because I've just discovered the issue just yesterday only. Okay, 
Okay, but but if Mark is saying, as Mark is saying that open SSH is not supporting it, then why would we need to worry about it? Because if a user is not able to create a key with it, then SSH key pair, then uh, why would it be a would it be an issue for us? Okay, now I'm seeing that. Okay, so open SSH takes a minus M argument for key format and does accept PKCS8 as a public key or private key. Um, so apparently it will accept PKCS8. So we may have to just declare, hey, not supported. I mean, I mean it, yeah. yeah, I should go on, sorry. Yeah, the code is available in the bouncy castle API for the PKCS8, but it is not performing as, as expected, you know, you can say uh, it is showing an error. I think that's an, that's a bug for that. I mean, the code is there in the plugin, but it's showing an error. So there's, there is a bug, I guess. It is support. It supports, but there is an uh, bug. There is, is not support is available for that in the plugin. So, um, what I was um, was I was trying to say is that when we are talking about releasing this SSH private key as a binding for the Git plugin, should we not focus on encryptions and? formats which we know for sure are going to be encountered by 90 or let's say 80 percent of the user if that is something we can figure out and if we know that then we should focus on that and first release the plugin with that uh, those many encryption algorithms and we can say that we yeah, for, at this moment we don't support let's say pkcs8 or any other uh, algorithm which is a bit outdated probably. So, I mean, is, is that a viable uh, strategy we could use, um, Mark, Justin, and Harshit? For me, if we support RS, if we support the keys that a typical Linux system will generate, I think we're 90% of the way there. And a typical, when I say typical Linux system, I mean a typical Linux system using SSH-keygen. Yeah, I, I agree. I think kind of try and solve the, the broad case. And then, you know, if we need to create follow up uh, Jira issues or something like that, or just declare them as, you know, what's what is supported, we could even declare in the doc. And then if it's unsupported and someone wants it, they create an issue, like that seems like an option too. Um, I generally agree. I mean, yeah. as Harshit well, is saying, that there is there is a bug in the bouncy castle API. So if, if that uh, in in one of the libraries we'll be using, if that is the case, that I think that creates a dependency for it blocks him, right? And then he would have to create a PR there, and I'm not sure how their development cycle works. It's going to yeah. Uh, Uh, you've opened you've yeah. opened up a discussion with them, right, Harshit? For PKCS8 bug, what you're saying? Uh, no, I just discovered it yesterday, so I have oh. to you know investigate more on that, and then I will will I think open an issue or I should I you know should I look into their code and solve the resolve the issue or should I just open an issue for that? Um. My advice would be first, you should, um, have you gone through the um, unit tests? So actually I was trying to find the unit test. I was not able to write now, but I remember that in the unit tests, they've tested a lot of algorithms, uh, these encryption algorithms, and um, they've shown how to decrypt them. So were you able to see an example of them uh, decrypting a PKCS8 format key? Because I vaguely remember that I saw it, but I, I, I just am not able to find it right now from GitHub. So what I'm trying to say is just make sure that 
um, it, it is a bug from their side and not because um, maybe we are giving a wrong input or there's something that they, something different that they're expecting, something like that. I guess I'd even maybe go a different way. Like we could just kind of mark this as, you know, it may not work for now and just kind of like keep moving forward with the ones that are the standard ones. Just in the interest of time and moving forward. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm ag agreed with Justin that if, I think if we support RSA and ED25519, we've probably already supported over 95% of the use cases just with yeah. those, two, those two algorithms and passphrase protected or not passphrase protected. Now, Harsha, the thing I didn't understand from your, your Gitter comment was, I think you said that RSA is not working for you with when using OpenSSH format. Did I understand that correctly? Yeah. Okay, so, so that's, that would be a red hot one because RSA is the default used on many of the, and I think maybe even most SSH implementations. Okay, so um, Harsh, if, if the private key file is encrypted by the RSA format, then we are not able to de decrypt it, right? You know, <clears throat> the SSG, SSG library is decrypting the file uh, and return it in a PKCSA format uh, in form of byte array. And then I'm using the bouncy castle API to convert it into a new format, you can say M format, so that it can be used for the authentication purpose because byte array is not that much supported. I guess, uh, I mean, it was showing an error because showing an issue that the, it needs to the secure, the key is not that much secure if you are using byte array because the PAM format uses the S4, the base 64 format for the transferring of the key that is more you know, useful and more reliable rather than byte array. So, yeah. But, yeah I, I, didn't, I did not understand. So what is your issue? Your issue is that you are not able to uh, use that byte array. And then is there an issue with the transformation to the PAM format from PKCS8? Or is there an issue in decrypting that key. No, the issue is I am not able to perform the authentication operation. Well, all other tasks are being performed, but the only thing is I am not able to perform the authentication operation. It says that the error in the crypto. Okay, so, okay, the library is not, okay, okay. So there is some issue with the decrypted key. That is what it is. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I guess, are you able to take the byte array and put it down on the file system and see if that works? Oh, yes. Without going, taking that extra step? Correct. Yeah, I did that. I did that. Okay, and that, and but it, that works, right? Or no? Oh uh, no, that doesn't work. Okay, okay. So the you know the SSH binding is highly dependent on libraries. So it is mostly for open SSH 
it's all 100% dependent on the SSG library and for other formats, it's dependent on the Bouncy Castle plugin library uh, API. So the bind, the SSH binding code that I am providing is not much, you know, playing much role. Uh, only the bindings are. So, yeah. So as I understand it, um, uh, if, if let's say your bar SA pass phase predict key first, it will be, I, I think it would be encrypted by a cipher, right? Like AES something like that. AES 256. And then that is decrypted. And the second step would be to uh, give you that RSA format uh, formatted key into into a byte array, right? And you're saying that that is provided to you in a PKCSA format. Yeah. When you're um, talking about RSA. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have opened an issue in SS3. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, if I am wrong, they could even point me to the right direction, I guess. And yeah, then. Correct. I'm just wanting to know, like, if uh, in the issue is really in SSG library, so are we still using that, or should we, you know, look for the alternatives? That depends. That do we have an alternative which would work for all of the cases that you cover? Um, so, so RSA R, for me, RSA key support is crucial. Without our, without RSA, we we could we could ship without it, I guess. But the pain factor would be enormous because most users generate RSA keys by default. So, if we truly can't make it work with SSHJ, I think we have to look for something else to that would support it. Yeah, or or provide a fix back to SSHJ that allows it to be supported. That would be fine as well. I'm, I'm just astonished if it's not supported because I would expect their consumers see it as the most common uh, encryption algorithm. Yeah, and I, I guess, Harshad, I think you said that you just recently discovered this and maybe some more debugging can go into whether this, uh, you know, there's just something else that needs to be done or something like that. Is that, is my understanding correct? Regarding the your RSA issue? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, I have debugged that on that, but I could not, you know, could not come to. I still think that the issue is in SSG library. So, because the binding code is not that much playing role in the in decrypting the key and you know giving the key in the byte array, it's just just giving the key in string format and and then outputting the key in. Base 64 format, even using the bouncy classic plugin API. So, 
um, Harshit, could there be a reason that you're not consuming the the maybe uh, decrypted byte array in the right form? So you're saying, first of all, I'm, I just don't understand that uh, I'm seeing your code here, which you've written in the issue that uh, you get the private key out of the um, the open SSH key one key file, and then you get the encoded byte array, right? This encoded byte array, you then I would assume de uh, decoded uh, base 64, right? This would be a base 64 encoded byte array. Yeah. And you're saying that this is an EKCS eight format because you you check the get format from the get format function that this was PKCS8. Mm, yeah. And then um, since this is PKCS8, as far as I understand, you were working with PEM format files, right? So you would be doing that conversion as well. Yeah. Okay. And so if you have, have you tried using that pkcs8 fi uh, file uh, like uh, converting that into a pkcs8 file, file and then using that to establish um, a ssh connection or are you using the pem after converting whatever logic you've created and then using the pem to do that how are I'm you trying to byte array but it, i think it doesn't work and it didn't work, so I'm now using the bouncy pass layer for that to convert into M. I mean, that's also not working as well. I mean, I tried both the cases. Okay. And have you seen in SSJ, is there an example? Could you find a test case or something in that where the piece SSJ has showed how to do this? Give us an example. Because I can I cannot find that. I mean I have not cloned the SSJ library to my system, so it's Yeah, that's a that's a good question, Rishab. I think um, <clears throat> so. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the SSHJ um, repo, and it looks like they have integration tests with RSA keys. Oh, yeah, Can that's that's what I was seeing as well. So we might be able to use that on these. This is a PR that came in that actually looks like it recently added the. Some other keys. Or well, that's what it says, anyways. Comprehensive support for public key off with certificates. So, oh, with certificates. Okay, that's slightly different, I guess. And um, and when we're talking about RSA, so uh, I was, then I was reading about OpenSSH's new format, which they implemented. Uh, uh, so if if I don't provide an encryption algorithm when I'm uh, using SSH key gen, I, uh, Mark, you were saying that uh, the keys would be uh, RSA keys, right? Generated the private key. I believe so. I think that's what I had experienced previously. Let me double check the man page just to be sure. Okay. 
Okay, because wouldn't open SSH default to the new open SSH format now? Uh, the encryption and I, I believe it's uh, open SSH hyphen. Uh, but it depends on what system you're on and what you have. Oh, hmm. yeah. I mean, that's a good point. But yeah, I think some older systems are probably going to have like older versions. Yeah, certainly. The I would expect the version of OpenSSH that's installed on CentOS 7 to be dramatically different than the version that is installed on OpenBSD 6.9 because one of those was created, what CentOS 7's original release is probably seven or eight years ago now, and OpenBSD 6.9 released in May of this year. So, so there, that's, that's why the operating system variance thing there is, is on the test ideas is because those different versions of SSH uh, may generate Different, different things that users will paste into the form. So I, I just tried SSH key gen and it, yeah, it's generating a public and private RSA key pair by default. I just tried the same thing on OpenBSD 6.9 and it is offering to, when I run SSH, SSH keygen with no arguments, it offers to store it in .ssh slash id underscore RSA. So I think it's still defaulting to generate an RSA key. So that means that this, since the, the RSA key would not be the new OpenSSH file, Format, then I, I think Bouncy Castle would be able to do it, right? Because RSA is a relatively um, a, open SSH was newer for, and they don't support uh, the encryption of passphrase protected private keys when they're in open SSH format. But RSA, I, I think, would be supported, right? Like not even SSJ, um, Bouncy Castle would do it. Yeah, so I, I'm afraid I, I don't know which libraries support which which formats, and that's where I think Harshit's investigation is the is the or Harshit's implementation is the real answer. If if it's not working for him, then it probably won't work for the users. Harshit, have you seen um, the? the I, I clearly remember that the Bouncy Castle Java repository they, they contains tests where they, they, sh they show uh, various formats, how to decrypt them. Have you seen uh, some of the examples there? Could you see, could you find an example how they're doing it when it comes to RSA? RSA encrypted key using Bouncy Castle? Encrypted uh, without encryption. Um, I would expect both. So the format will be different. Okay. Yeah, because, uh, I have not uh, seen. I will see that. Yeah, yeah. I think that that would be a good exercise because I think that's the uh, easiest way to find if it is going to work or not. And the correct way to do it as well. Yeah, and, and maybe maybe it's that we end up using Bouncy Castle directly instead of SSHJ. If you can, because you'll have the bouncy cap, castle APIs already imported. Um, so maybe it's that we use SSJ for the uh, ED25519 and bouncy castle for RSA. Yeah. 
But I think, Rishab, I think you're kind of also saying that maybe that'll unlock using SSJ to use RSA. No, like I'm just saying, no, I, I would say that um, if, if uh, uh, we don't have to, so the, the issue where we have had to switch from Bouncy Castle to SSJ started from point where open SSH private keys, like in their format, that, that is where oh, Bouncy Castle is not supporting us. But since RSA is, uh, when we're de creating keys which are in RSA, that, that should be supported by, uh, it is supported by Bouncy Castle. Uh, open SSH, they, they said that it do. Oh, so I, I'm trying, I'm, I'm assuming that we can find some place where they've done it. They've decrypted RSA keys in Bouncy Castle. And I'm not sure why SSJ is not supporting it. Yeah. Uh, any other thoughts on that one or any other concerns that we need to talk about um, besides uh, the big one? <laughs> I'm I'm trying to catch myself up to speed just reading the SSH keygen man page and I think I've got more more things we need to put in the formats in the key or maybe less things to put in the key formats there are three key formats that are listed here I'm going to update that just uh, because I was being imprecise it looks like they've got a thing called RFC 4716/SSH2 public Okay, that one we've got PEM and then PKCS8. So those three seem to be the key formats that it can, that SSH keygen can both import and export and can change the passphrase on them. So, so for me, I think Justin, to you, to your question, I've just got. I need to do more. I need to test the code that Harshit has submitted as part of the pull request, and see see confirm that does it support RSA keys that I've generated. Um, if it does, which kind of RSA keys does it not support? That sort of thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Do we have any other topics that we should cover now? I think, I think this is our big one right now. <laughs> yeah, and, and I apologize. My capacity to do testing right now is pretty limited. The, no, the no, next no. Yeah. chance that I'll be able to attack this is probably this weekend. Yeah. Harshit, were there any other topics that you wanted to cover? In uh, um, today? Well, I'm pretty occupied by this only. So, there is not much to cover. Only the, the two things were there, only the SSJ, regarding the SSJ and, and the bouncy castle. And, and we have discussed on that. 
Okay. Yeah, so I guess from here, maybe we, I guess, are we done, maybe done for today? And then offline, we kind of like people can take a poke at the RSA stuff, see what we find out. I'm happy to continue talking about this too. I'm not trying to close down the subject early. <laughs> This I have just one thing to ask Mark, like off topic. So Mark, uh, the issue that I encountered when the you know the art plugin artifact version was 4.19, so it was resolved when it bumped you to you change it to 4.21. So can you tell me what was causing that? Unfortunately, I don't have any guess at all what was causing it because that was I couldn't I couldn't duplicate it and and I think what you're saying is now you no longer see it either. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I've I don't I don't know what what would have caused that. That was, I mean, I guess it, it could have been something corrupted or mangled in your maven repository cache that's on your in your m2 directory um it could be some other surprise i i apologize harsh but i just don't know that that was completely perplexing to me i mean that issue was not you know reproducible by by you it was not no uh-uh uh, I mean, I have two. Uh, I have two systems. So, on both the systems, it was showing the error. So, I was told that it was interesting. And and yet, okay. So then, if it was showing it on both systems, then it certainly should not have been anything related to local corruption on one system and not another. That that's really strange. And but are are either of the systems still showing the problem? Oh uh, no! After you know changing to four point two one, then the issue was gone. Interesting. Hmm. If you if you switch back to four point twenty, does the issue return? I've not tried it, but I think it will. So that may that yeah that might indicate some real problem in the the parent parent version 4.20 but I have not seen any mention of that kind of problem anywhere in the Jenkins mailing lists. Let me see if let me see if I can read the releases to see if there's some hint in the release notes. Okay, so 4.21 was released to remove the spot bugs upgrade to 4.3.0. So that to me doesn't seem like doesn't seem like it would be likely to do any damage to your ability to compile. And oh no, 4.20 though requires Maven 3.8.1. What version of Maven are you currently running? Uh, I have dated about first before that. I, I was running 3.6.1, so it showed an error, so I updated, updated it to 3.8.1 or 0. I think 8.1. Okay, good. So you're running the correct version, and so that's not the problem. Hmm. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have have any guess what could be going wrong and and just would suggest hey let's continue and if it if the issue appears again we'll ask on the developer list to see if others can give us a, any help okay. yeah i've i've had yeah the two systems thing is interesting though um, I've had similar local Maven cache sad times before. 
that sometimes magically fix themselves after a clean, but yeah, with two systems, it's interesting. Hopefully we're happy now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, then I've I've exhausted my topics. Um, Harshit, when you're generating those um, keys when you're testing, so you uh, you just uh, you're not providing a specific algorithm, right? You're just generating them using <clears throat> SSS key gen. Yeah. No, no, so it's, I'm it's, providing. It's, the well, it depends on which form, which algorithm I want to use and form. Yeah, of course, and uh, you you're giving RSA as the algorithm yeah and the private key when you open it uh you're seeing open ssh uh, private key or you're seeing rsa private key so open ssh yeah so so it, then the prop uh when i was saying that rsa should be supported and we should definitely find a solution for bouncing acid from so this is not the rsa algorithm right this would be open ssh uh, yeah, we would need to look at SSJ because SSJ was is able to decrypt open SSH the newer format with different algorithms. We've tried with different, right? But with R with RSA, you're saying it's not easy. Really I'll try doing it as well. Uh, when I test this so in the whole system. So Harshit, you'll continue your investigation of key support and we'll, we'll talk further on Friday. If I've had a chance to do some interactive testing, we can look at the results and otherwise it may be next Monday before I, or next Tuesday, or whoops, Wednesday, your time, before I'm ready to talk about test results. Well, I will be submitting some you know, unit tests for that. Oh, you can go to that one. Great, excellent. Yeah, but yeah, I also like uh, Rishab's idea about looking to see if there's any, if you can find any unit tests for Bouncy Castle anywhere, really, maybe there are even in other Git repositories um, for RSA. Yeah, and I definitely see RSA based tests in the uh, SSHJ repository. Mm -hmm. Now, when I look at the data files, they don't look, they look like they are one of the variants of, of files that are understood by OpenSSH. But I haven't, haven't proven, I haven't confirmed that by interactive test. Yeah, hopefully it's just like a little weird thing that he, you just need to flip a something somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the most annoying ones. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm hoping it's just. Cool. All right. Well, I guess uh, 
we have nothing else, we can uh, close her out. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Have a good one. Take care.